Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Julie. I am the mom to eight kids, and all 10 of us live in a 575 square foot house. Now, last year I did a full house tour that I took you all the way through every single room, but it has been a little while and things have changed, and I thought that I would start doing some room by room tours where we can really take time to look more closely at an individual room. As you would imagine, having a lot of us in a small space means that every bit of the house is utilized for its best purpose. And so we make sure that we really think through each space and how to use it in the best way. And that is no exception when it comes to our laundry room. It's not just a place where we wash and dry clothes. This is also our family closet. So we have the clothes for all of us, minus baby Lydia here. Some of her clothes are upstairs. Um, but the rest of, of the family, all of our clothes and our shoes are stored in this laundry room. There is space up above the washer and dryer for um, extra household products like your Ziploc bags, extra cleaning supplies are in the bins, diapers, wipes, those kind of things that you need to have a little bit of surplus are stored in the bins above the washer and dryer. Also, the blue bin is full of extra office supplies. We homeschool and so I like to make sure that we have lots of extra supplies and paper. We even have things like a laminator, a, a hole puncher, three hole puncher, all of those things are stored up above the washer and dryer. And next to the washer and dryer, we have a little mini printing station where we keep our printer and extra paper and some files with uh, templates of things that we will photocopy and use for our homeschooling. My husband and I have our clothes mostly hanging on this one wall and also the kids have some dress clothes that we don't want wrinkled and so those hang there as well. So that's what that entire wall of clothes is. And then above it we have um, my husband and my, you know, workout clothes, pajamas, stacks of blue jeans, those kind of things are all in the bins. And the same goes for the children. So every child has a bin for shirts, a bin for pants, a bin for pajamas, a bin for socks and underwear, and a big bin to store their shoes. After so many broken hampers, I was ready for something durable. And so my husband actually built me a hamper to match the theme of our house. He made it out of old barn wood and some cattle fencing which I just think it is so amazing looking and it is durable. Kids can climb on it if they need to and it would not break. At the edge of the shelves, we have hooks for hanging coveralls. We live out in the country on a small ever growing homestead. And so as you can imagine, there's lots of mud and in the winter, we prefer the kids to just wear coveralls. It saves their clothes and keeps them warm. The back wall of our laundry room leads straight to the outside, which is so great because filthy children can come into the back door <laughs> and go straight into the laundry room for clean clothes. Also along that back wall we have our game shelf. We are a big game playing family so we have lots of choices and we also keep our art box here. This is where we keep several of our Arteza products and the drawers are removable so kids can take out a drawer and carry it with them wherever they want to go create art. Thanks so much for joining me with this laundry room tour. Stay tuned for more room tours. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We post videos throughout the week about homeschooling, homesteading, and motherhood. If you're interested in seeing the tour of our whole house that I did last year, I will put a link for that in the description box as well.